you know that country cafe known for some amazing breakfasts and delicious lunches also has dinner, beer, and wine. We're going to make some of that for you today. I'm here with Joaquin, the owner. We're in the kitchen. Thanks for having Hi, us. Hi, Jessa. How are you today? I love cooking in the kitchen with Joaquin. So much fun. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, me too. I we love being love, here. Uh, working behind the kitchen always. So, what are we doing I'm today? I'm going to cook uh, linguine capesante gamberi today. Okay. That's a, a linguine pasta. It's in between um, a fettuccine and a spaghetti. A little, a little um, flatter than spaghetti, but right. not as much as a, a fettuccine. Just kind of a little middleman, <coughs> right? Yes. So, really good. So, tell it's us about that. For that. So, I'm going to start uh, cooking some... Um, Garlic. Oh my gosh, love garlic. I already put uh, olive oil on the pan. Okay, so start with your olive oil, add some garlic. I think I can follow so far. Now and then uh, capesante means uh, scallops. Okay. Gamberi means uh, gar uh, uh, shrimp. Oh, so gotcha. That so that's where this is coming into play. Linguini, capesante, and gamber. So, there it is, sizzling up. You know we're in the kitchen when there's a little bit of fire. I love it. Okay. And then I add a uh, little add some green um, for us. tiny bit of um, a little greenery for our for our pasta. Basil. What is that? Basil. basil. Okay. Can I smell? Oh my I gosh, love basil. I love That's one of my fresh. favorite. Bar yeah, yeah, it's such a yummy one. What a good decision to add that. Okay. And then I, and I love fresh tomatoes. Um, wine. I said you serve wine, but today we're cooking with wine. Yeah, I like some uh, dry wine on the pasta. There you go, a little bit of white wine. Better, and Gives it a little flavor. So I let uh, the shrimps cook a little bit uh, along with the scallops. Not overcook them, but um, Beautiful. when they're almost done, I'm going to add the uh, tomatoes. Mm -hmm. I have the pasta going right now. Here's one thing I love about being here, Joaquin, is you are such an expert chef. You've been doing this for a long time. And so I'm excited to see you be able to bring your expertise to Sun Prairie now here at Country Cafe. I know from years of experience that you are just the best. So this is awesome. Not only do you bring your experience to Country Cafe, but you're literally adding your experience to the menu in such a unique way. I'm showing you right now just the selection of pastas incredible this is a big menu as you can see this is just one page oh, you can see how many pastas they have pizza but when we come here oftentimes we're talking breakfast and lunch so there's just so many good choices uh, really good sandwiches really good sandwiches yes don't let me start talking about dessert we're gonna have to go out and have some pie <laughs> but it's yeah so, we, so good. we have a really good pies like you say we have apple pies for this pie uh, pecan pie is my favorite. Oh, me too. We so have creme brulee, tiramisu, cannoli, yes, spumoni. The list goes on. That's what I'm talking about here. The menu is huge, so you really can come with a, a group of people and everybody's going to get something that they love. But, you know, oftentimes with a cafe like this, one of the things that is so great and that you, really sets you apart is everything is so fresh. And you make so much from scratch here in house, and so you're going to get something that's really well prepared and you know made really fresh. Um, you say that, and uh, I hear that also f uh, from a lot of our customers. Mm -hmm. They are in love with the pastas. Uh, they they coming back and coming back and have the, the different pastas that we have, and they never stop trying a different one because they sound so good when they read that on the menu yes. that they, they stick really to want the one. Yes. I, that Don't we all do that sometimes, right? Like you want to try everything, but the one thing is so good that you stick with it. But that's how this place is and I encourage you to try different things because there's so many good things on the menu. I also love that this is a family friendly place. It is. Mm -hmm. We have kids. Uh, big families, group, big groups are welcome. Yeah, and that's really wonderful. <coughs> if you haven't been here in a while, now this location has been here of course, but uh, in the last year come under new management, new ownership, and has gotten just really a big makeover. So not only menu-wise, but also just the space itself looks really updated and nice and clean and gorgeous. So this Here is we what go. we're doing Look at here. That. Do you smell the basil and the garlic and the seafood? 
Oh my god, this is one of my favorite pastas. So tasty. So good. So oh. good. And we mentioned. So fresh. I can smell it. Oh my gosh, we're gonna eat this on the break. It's piping hot, so we're not gonna do it now. But when we go to break, we'll, we'll sit down and have a bite. And I mentioned in the beginning of the segment, you also now serve beer and wine. Yes, we do a really nice selection of red wines, whites. We also have beer. Uh, we have salads. We have a little bit of everything for everyone. You do. And what kind of wine would you serve with this? Oh, I would love to have a nice white wine. Me too. A Chardonnay, maybe. Yeah, perfect. Chardonnay, a little bit of pasta. Maybe stick around for some pecan pie. Oh my God, with some ice cream on the side. Oh my God. On top. Stop. Warm okay. it up. So yeah. <laughs> So this is a great spot. I, I highly recommend if you're here in Sun Prairie, you, you come on in and have a bite to eat, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. We said last time we were here, there's no rules. You can eat breakfast for dinner. You can eat dinner for breakfast. But the um, great part is to, it's a truly a great destination spot. So if you're not here in Sun Prairie, come on over. Food's worth it and the ownership is just fantastic. We sure do love you. Thank you so much, Jessa, for everything you say oh, you i can say that better than you well you know we love you and you let us come behind the scenes not every chef lets us into their kitchen so thanks for doing that oh, thank, thank you, you so for much. watching best of wisconsin restaurants we'll be right back after the break